Calvin Castine at Plattsburgh High School Sports Complex. It's the 20th day of October 2012. It's a bright, and as you can see, pretty darn beautiful October 20th, 2012. And this is Clinton Community College, Junior College, Division 3, I think it is. Playoffs. It's Onondaga in blue and the Cougars in the home whites. 11, 11th seed Onondaga against number six seed Clinton Community College. Our officials looks like Jamie Labarge in the middle, brother Dennis Labarge on the far side. And last time I looked, Jim Karen was over on this side as the flagman. 45 minute halves. It's a Saturday afternoon, Mickey Mantle's 81st birthday. And temperature in the mid 60s. Our Zoom, as we <laughs> regular viewers know, is not working properly, so we sometimes zoom in too far if we're not paying attention here. So we'll try our darndest to pay attention. For the uh, for the Cougars, <laughs> holler holler away, holler away, Todd. Uh, Todd Round, back the athletic director up here in the booth. We might hear him cheering on the Cougars on occasion. The Lady Cougars are on the road, and they are playing, I believe, at Onondaga. So they uh, they are hoping to repeat not repeat but to go back to the championship game that they had two years ago the lady cougars were national champions two years ago and it's games like this that lead to that possibility so it's a big game for everyone involved uh, the cougars the starters include dylan riley where is number two Ben Smith, who wears number four. Matt Letta, who wears number six. Uh, Matthew Follett, from the Rushton Moira area, who wears uh, number eight. Kian Johanbush, listed his hometown as Plattsburgh, but uh, I think he went to Beacon Town, though. Number nine, uh, Corey Farley, 10. Ryan Lee is 11. Here's a corner kick. And a shot, and a nice stop by the keeper. Uh, the keeper is Ty Downs, or <laughs> good name for keeper. Tie him down, Ty Downs. Tie down that one for Onondaga. See Ryan Lee, 11. Uh, Travis Agony is the Cougar keeper. Jamie Davison from Northeastern is 15. Caleb Snide Shazy is 16. Uh, and Jordan Knight, a big Plattsburgh name for the high school, played a lot of soccer right here on this field, is number 23. Where's number 23 in high school? Jordan. Michael Jordan's number was 23, and his name is Jordan, so it's probably obliged to the family to wear number 23. We got we have both rosters, but uh, I was thinking that they would introduce the players, introduce the game, but they went right into it. So we're going to miss the action if we take the time to read the Onondaga starters, but we will. Get them entire. In fact, we'll get both entire teams when uh, subs are being made. We'll read some names and uh, get everybody's name on here at least. Zach Epler, the coach for the Cougars, he's assisted by uh, Richard Lee and my former former favorite car mechanic. Gene Bushy Jr. Right, 
Very pleasant, as I said, temperature in the mid to upper 60s. I think this weather is going to surprise the weatherman. Uh, expected mild temperatures, but not all the sunshine, so. Uh, gorgeous day in the North Country. Headed back and out to be a cougar throw will be thrown in by Riley. That uh, shot is going to go wide. Looks like it'll be a throw in for the cougars. Continue to be carried by the Cougars. These uh, Cougar numbers are a little hard to pick up in the bright sunshine. There's an opportunity for Clinton just wide this night. Johan Bush. Blue throw. 38-27 in the first half. Blue throw. Yeah, it's going to be wide. We have a sub ready to come in. Looks like number seven, Tahar. I don't know. Uh, yeah, Tahar is coming in. Tarar. Akash Tarar. Listed as a Plattsburgh address, but I really don't recall that, uh, that name from high school. Stayed in. Nice big turf field here for Plattsburgh High School. Originally, I thought I saw where this game would be scheduled for Plattsburgh State, so we were very happy when we looked in the paper today and saw it had been scheduled for the high school. If it were at Plattsburgh State, we probably wouldn't be here. They don't have a recording area for us, but they, they do here at PHS, and we're more than happy to utilize it. Cougars with control. With a uh, Number six playing number 11. This is uh, a play in for the quarterfinals. You have a quarterfinals when you have eight teams remaining, and semifinals when you have four teams remaining. So this is the play in for the quarterfinals in the region. One of the region then goes to the nationals. And as I said, that's what happened to the women of the Clinton community two years ago. And it was a nice team, and they are playing. They are ranked number nine, and Onondaga number eight in the women's end. That is out. Blue, blue throw. 
35-26 shown here in the first half, scoreless thus far. The JV soccer this morning, Northeastern and Northern Adirondack. So we go from JVs to uh, playoff action at the community college level. All at midfield. The, for those of you unfamiliar with this Plattsburgh High School field, the yellow lines are the soccer lines, the white lines are football lines, so the soccer field is wider than the football field and longer than the football field. Blue kick. to the corner and kick out of bounds by John Bush uh, he uh, was waiting for the keeper uh, agony to pick that up and it didn't happen agony from Morrisonville so because Johan, Johan Bush had to kick it out, it's going to be a corner kick for Onondaga. Uh, Agony going to be a little more assertive out there, I think. And kick back near the 18. And going to be wide and out, so this will be a goal kick. So let's see, the non-starters, we give you the starters for the Cougars, uh, Lawrence Montanaro, number three, Edward Blow, five, uh, Ikash Tahar, uh, number seven, we'll leave it there and pick up next time we have a, a break in the action. And when we get down with the Cougars, we'll read all of the Onondaga um, names. Ball will be in the corner. We want to thank the uh, manager here for the uh, for the Cougars who were quickly gave us a roster for both teams when we arrived. Uh, we'd uh, anticipated having to write everybody all the numbers down. We got the rosters of the Cougars. The, uh, Two schools' websites, and I do have to point out that the Cougars is much <laughs> more user-friendly. He's a lot less buttons to push to get to where I want to go at the Clinton page than the Onondaga page. But they both had the information there; just a matter of number of buttons I had to push to find them. Uh, so anyway, we want to thank uh, the Cougars for quickly providing us with the rosters. That was an unexpected pleasure. Yeah, it's going to be a cougar throw. Uh, yeah, do uh, coming wide. I'm going to have to uh, check with uh, Todd Brown back at halftime, find out what the Onondaga nickname is. The 18 goes almost back to Downs. We're at the 30-50 mark, so we're Almost a, a third of the way in. And uh, uh, it's going to be a blue throw. Uh, 
Amazing. Cougars carrying it out. Night. Looking for Davison. Perfect, perfect. And Davison trying to work the ball up. Well, weak shot. He's under a heavy, heavy attack. 29-33 in the first. No score. This junior college play-in game for the District 3. Okay, blue throw. Pass comes wide. Kicked into the corner. There's a shot that goes way off on the end. Let's see, we got as far as uh, there. Let's go with Hugo, Hugo Leon, number 17, Nick Rhino, 18, Danielle Escobar is uh, 19, Ethan Marquica, 21. Nathan Nolting, 25, and Kevin Renane, number 27 for Clinton. Well, next time we read names, we'll go to Onondaga. Kick back. Kick, but not too decisively there by uh, Agony. Always try to point out that there used to be the defense could kick it back to the keeper, but no longer. Kick it back to the keeper. He's got to kick it too. He can't. Uh, he can't be grabbing it. Just deliberately kicked to the keeper by the defense. He has to head it or body it or kick it. Davison working his way. Ooh, pounds it off. Uh, off an Onondaga player. Let's see, Ty Downs is their keeper. Uh, Benjamin Gucci, I think Paul Daniels might be their backup guy, but he's kind of crossed off here. Benjamin Gucci is number three. Nicholas McKiernan, number four. Miles Wood, number five. There's a corner. And grabbed by Downs. 26.50. Six in the first half. That's headed. Uh, I'm looking at the uh, schedule. Uh, his teams played each other early in the year, so so I uh, don't know how they've done head to head. Obviously, with the higher seed and the home field advantage, the the Cougars have a, have a better record. There's a boot up to the 18. And kick back now by Snide. Played easily by Downs. Crowd starting to fill in. There weren't too many folks here. I arrived to Jamie, Jamie Davison's grandmother, and a few other folks were here. Oh, that's wide. Be a cougar kick. Settle, 
And Agony clears it out. Where's the ball? There it is. And Snide for the Cougars. On the wing, he finds uh, nice. Tarar. Yeah, it's going to be Cougar throw. Knight, Knight will come over and take it. Knight and Davison must find it interesting being teammates. They battled each other in so many soccer and basketball venues for so many years. Snide passes back for control. And switching fields was uh, Johan Bush. Again, that's our Zoom. <laughs> uh, now Zoom, since the 1st of July parade in Moses Point, if we touch it, it zooms until we stop it from zooming. You know? We just touch it once and it just keeps on zooming. So if we touch the zoom and glance away from our online, our on camera viewer, to look at the action away from the viewer, that's an offside. The camera will just keep on the zooming. So we've got to be constantly looking through our viewer here if we glance away to look at our names on our roster sheets or whatever. And uh, we've touched the zoom and it's going to keep on a zooming on us. So that happens once in a while in the course of the game. It's just live with it, folks. <laughs> I've learned to. Ball <laughs> still alive. Down to the 18. Taking off foot. And still alive here, and the Cougar's given up on it. The blue throw, 22-30 shown here in the first half. So we are halfway through the first half, a quarter of the way through the game, and we are scoreless at the PHS Sports Complex. Headed back to the keeper. Uh, if you don't kick it back to him, he can, he can grab it, so that was headed, so he can, uh, he can grab it. Yeah, Cougars deep, and the Onondaga end. Way to get back, guys. Snide steps into the fray. And we have a call. Uh, Jamie Labarge. And a player down. Slow to get on his feet. That was number eight who was down, Patrick Maroney. We will get into these Onondaga names there when time allows. So if you're watching on the internet, Waiting to hear your favorite Onondaga player's name. Hang in there. It was Tarar doing the, the kicking for the Cougars. Jim Karen says this way. Still at the 18. And it's called out. So it'll be blue. Blue throw. Frenzy will throw it. Sent back to the 18, cleared out, and off the sideline. 
blue throw. The second time we've gotten Clinton this year, we've gotten early in the season against Adirondack. All right, let's see. Benjamin Gucci, three. Nicholas McKiernan, four. Miles Wood, five. Christian Santa Maria, six. Austin Lloyd is uh, seven. Patrick Maroney, eight. Dave Ferenzi is number nine. Kevin Keeley, number ten. Ron and Daga. Pick up on that thought. Next opportunity. Cougars on the attack. Knight puts it on the six yard line where it's picked up by the keeper downs. We're at 18.55 here in the first half. That's headed. Snide back. In real life, I can see those numbers pretty good, but looking through my little viewer here, I have to look twice, and so I uh, can't always tell what the numbers is, so it's making it a little difficult to play, do the play by play on the Cougars. Four, it's Smith, running it up. near the 20 yard line now. Controlled by Onondaga. And Onondaga continues to control. Job by Smith. Good blue throw. All right, continuing here. Okay, Sean Kilpatrick, 11. Jacob Howley, 12. Nick Matusik is 13. Jared Shirtliff, Shirtliff is 14. Uh, Duda Diara is 15. Esmer Omoverick is 17. And Matthew Shepard, 18. Jamison Carr, 19. Cobra throw. Christopher Mankey, 20. Sal Waugh is 21. Sam Samuel Bender is 22. And Ab Dick, Ab Dick Kadira, Ab Dick Kadir Harabi is 26. The coach is uh, Eric Bonnier, assisted by Corey Fonseca and Ryan Snyder. That's Onondaga. And that's about all we can do for Onondaga. I have enough trouble keeping up with the Cougars. 16 10. He's uh, the boy from the Boston Moira area. Uh, here comes Onondaga. Up to the 18 and beyond. In the corner. Pass to the 18, broken up by Snide. Easy to pick up Snide, he's got that lighter colored hair. Snide carrying it. Goes wide. 
Slide behind the bat to uh, Knight. Too many defenders in the area. Here's Jahan Bush. Kind of miskicks it. And here comes Onondaga. And he kicked out of bounds by Farley. 14 and a half showing in a scoreless game. Clinton Community College being visited by Onondaga. A Region 3 play in on junior college level. 10 20 12. October 20th, 2012. 10 20 2012. This is about the 30-yard line. It says 20, but it's 30. Here's the boot. Punched out by Agony. Right on net. That'll be another opportunity, a corner kick for Honda to go the short route. The long shot hits the the goal post. Here's another shot off the goal post. So a couple of opportunities there for Onondaga. Not nothing to show for it yet. Bright sunshine. Ideal weather. The high school soccer playoffs starting this week. We'd love to uh, save this kind of weather and <laughs> pull it out whenever we needed it because we're going to need it in the next two weeks. It's the 20th and by the time we get to uh, election day we've usually had a little bit of snow. Only 11 days here away from uh, Halloween. Kick back and agony. <laughs> Looking at me like he's almost planning to pick that one up. Back and forth. Cougars can't seem to get control. Now they do. 12.22 to go in the first half. Tended for Knight. And knocked out of bounds off blue. And it's going to be a corner kick. Like number 19. I'll we'll take it. And team is Escobar. And we have uh, Tarara back in. There's a corner. Oh, so close. Nice try. Good blue throw. 11.36. Shown in the first half. <laughs> Blue with a throw. Go! Pass back for control. Cougars intercept. Low pass. Back. 30 yard line. Kicked into the box and Downs comes out and grabs it. 10 minutes and 39 seconds showing in the first half. Zero zero on the scoreboard. Come on, OCC. Ball near Emil to midfield. We got uh, blue, blue in control. Blue in control. 
Oh, the Cougars have it. Gonna be a blue throw. It's a big one too. <laughs> All the way back to Agony. There's a there's a big cloud hanging over the field. Got blue skies on the horizon. At least uh, all the horizon I can see, but uh, right over us is a is a cloud. Here comes the Cougars. the ball. Back to Snide and left foots it. Just a wee bit off the mark. 8.40 on the clock. Yeah. Watching the Onondaga men at Clinton Community College. In Division 3 Regional. As it gets darker we're wondering if the uh, rain clouds will be coming. So let's see if number six Cougars are playing number 11, then number five is playing number 12, and seven is playing number 10, and eight and nine are playing each other. Uh, that's what's happening with the Cougar women. They are number nine and playing number eight Onondaga on the road. Would have been nice if it had been. Uh, Men and women both scheduled. Jordan Knight puts it uh, in the back of the net. Uh, find out who got the assist. But it's a uh, Cougar goal. Not sure if he wanted to offside or, or what. <laughs> uh, junior college graduates are trying to figure out uh, <laughs> what the time is. You count backwards, so. <laughs> It's uh, 37.47 was the time. So you start 45 and you count backwards, so if you got seven minutes left, it happened at 38 minutes. So. But uh, most of the <laughs> scorekeepers we come in contact with. Home goals for number 23, Jordan Knight. Assisted by number two, Dylan Riley. Time of the goal. Dylan Riley got the assist. Knight the goal. 6.24 left in the first half. One nothing Cougars. The throw for Terrar. It's the call. We've got a man coming in. We've got number Ryan Lee coming in. And now we're going to have uh, Davison throw it. Davison with his orange shoes out there. Pass 
Pass back. Way back for control. Five and a half showing here in the first half. Sent up to the 18. Through. Two pass. Up for Knight from uh, Tarar. Blue throw. Another blue throw. Davison's there. Uh, kick to now midfield. Come on, White. Let's go. Kicked wide. Come on, Abby. Temperature dropping now. The rain could be coming. Can't tell from our angle, but it's sort of getting some dark clouds rolling in up there. There's a throw. Oh, taking a on and dog a hop. He wanted a call and didn't get it. Well, the uh, throw in, the throw for the Cougars. Didn't come in. Oh, another blue throw. This is. Wa sa wa s a h w a h. Call goes against Sanadaga. White throw. Two and a half. It's headed. Headed back at midfield. Slides there, gets bumped. Sent wide by a six, it's Letta from Peru. That's behind. Now we are just about at the two minute mark here. Here in the first half. Comes to near midfield. Davison will take the throw. Up into the corner tonight. Some good footwork. Good pass. Davison stops it. Terrar now. Oh. <laughs> Jerry Davison becoming a part of the story. <laughs> Jamie Davison taking an opportunity away from the Cougars. 
It's amazing that that doesn't happen more often. The refs are <laughs> right in the field uh, when they're using the three-man system with one ref and two flagmen. It's amazing that uh, they don't get caught up in the middle more often. Quickly thrown in. We're down to 27 seconds. Kicked wide. Kicked wide by the Cougars. It's not off blue, it's off white, and it went way wide. The Downs will take a time here, six seconds. Doesn't want to give the Cougars another opportunity. Two seconds. So the first half is going to end with the score. Clinton won, Onondaga zero here on viewer-supported viewer supported hometown cable. Don't go away. You're watching viewer-supported local television. TV that needs your support if we're going to keep doing this. So uh, if, you're, if you're watching this, we could use your support to keep this kind of programming coming. Yes, that's an umbrella. That beautiful weather we had uh, to start the game has left us, and the umbrellas have just come out. There's a, speaking of coming out, there's a man going out, Joe Staves. He's the 20th. He's got 11 days to to finish out his uh, career here at uh, Plattsburgh High School. We first uh, bumped into Joe. He was at OLBA. That's how long uh, we've been aware of Joe Joe Staves. Second half underway. Onondaga Lasers, according to Todd, Dr. Todd Rowanbeck from the Clinton community. And. Cougars are heading this away, this a half. Whoops, I forgot to switch my battery here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we got 15 minutes of battery life left. And I was gonna switch it, and I forgot. Oh well. If uh, somebody scores, we'll, uh, we'll take that opportunity. Otherwise, we'll have to uh, switch it. Uh, when we feel is an opportunity to do so. Call goes against Clinton. And it's gonna be a kick. Excuse me, call goes against Onondaga. It's gonna be a kick for the Cougars here and they're gonna ask for 10. Ask for 10 and uh, Jamie Labarge will count off 10. <laughs> this guy in the green shoes, he didn't, uh, he didn't understand what was going on there. His teammates had to drag him back. <laughs> Why is that ref walking around there? What's this 10-yard stuff? Davison's going to take it and hit off the football goal post. It did not hit the crossbar on the uh, soccer goal. It hit the hit the uh, goal post on a uh, football. So uh, that's out of bounds. It's above the soccer goal post. All that beautiful sunshine. And now the weatherman is saying, see, I told you so. All that beautiful sunshine is now been replaced by lots and lots of rain. That's uh, one of the nice things about this field. It's a nice field to begin with, but you know, the fact that it's on turf, you gotta worry about any mud. Uh, running down, we have 12 minutes of life on our battery. Have to run it down as, as far as we can because uh, we know darn well once we decide to switch it that that's when something will happen here. Oh. <laughs> Calling against the Cougars. It is really poor. Whoa, Onondaga getting physical. 
Let's get physical. Physical. Oh. What does that uh, Paul Ryan girl say? Let's get fiscal. It's a high kick. At least the temperature is mild. Call goes against Snide. Onondaga will kick it. Ten minutes showing on our battery life. Taking his time. Taking a lot of time here. Any shorts kicks it. <laughs> All that for that. <clears throat> and easy stop for agony. 40 minutes and 8 seconds to go in the second half. throw. Cougars with the ball. Wide for, Snot, for Davidson. Davidson's in the middle now. Over number 11. That's who's at uh, Ryan Lee. From the Port Kent Lees. Blue throw. The blue kick. Mm, that ball hardly settled. Cobra's on the attack. Okay, we didn't want to wait any longer, so we took uh, 30 seconds to switch the battery. And we should be set for the rest of the game. The next 38 minutes, we have a... Amy Davison. Telling the Onondaga laser to not do that. Trip. <laughs> Night. Call going against the Cougars. Cougar fans saw otherwise. There's a shot. And taken by Agony. Blue throw. The North Stars are playing here tonight, I guess, for their championship game versus Watertown. Uh, 
uh, two years ago, I think it was two years ago that they won it. To Rick Knowles and, and his crew covered that for us, the late Rick Knowles. Davison puts it on net. Ball bouncing at midfield. Clinton Community College hosting Onondaga and Region 3 playoffs play in play into the quarterfinals. Division three, region three, excuse me, region three. Light throw. But anyhow, the uh, concession stand not set up here at PHS. They could have made a few bucks this afternoon. I wonder if they'll be set up tonight when the football game is going on. Mm. Your hand bush for the throw. Snide over, keeps it going, but nobody from the Cougars able to get there. All the way down to thirty three forty four in the second half. One nothing, Clinton. Kick. Number 10 is Farley, Corey Farley. Puts it in play. to the bench. <laughs> Where's the ball? There it is. Stop before the 18. Let up carrying it. Through for Knight. Knight turns and shoots and scores. Good night has made it to two nothing. And the assist from Matt Letta. Nice play. He kind of deked out the defense there and shot it and said, uh, "I'm coming at you when you least expect it." 
Where's your penis to start? He is uh, doing the women's soccer game, the women's soccer game, but they really So Leto to Knight. Knight gets his second goal, and the Cougars leading 2 nothing with 31-20 showing right now. Hoping to advance to the quarterfinals. Viewer supported local television. If you're watching this, we could use your support to keep this program coming on cable and on the internet. Offside. But the rain is let up. It's still raining, but it's, it's let up. It's not as hard as it was for a while at the start of this half. We're about 15 minutes into the second half. On 10 20 2012. Oh, somebody else got orange shoes there. Can compete with Davison. Number uh, eight, Follett from Breston Moira. Davison back. Davison sends it through. Nice through ball for Knight. Knight passes it. On right to the keeper, however. Downs with a good punt. Davison. Knight looking for Follett. And looks like it's a kick for the lasers. Intended for Knight. That's for, who is it? Ryan who? What's a good number here? Number 11, Ryan Lee. Good, good shot, good attempt there. 
and I went just wide. Next step will be Albany, I believe, for the winner. Call goes against Anandaga. It'll be white kick. Ball is out. Blue throw. Snide passing through tonight. Back to Snide. Snide with a strong foot. Downs brings it out to the 18. throw 24-40 showing in the second half throw uh, Farley Blue throw. Barley with the throw. A lot of action between the uh, 35s. Halfway through the second half, three quarters of the way through the game, 22 and a half to go. On the far side. And the keeper will make the stop. Who's the better one in here? Number four, is it? Six? Six. That'd be Letta, huh? Yep, Letta. Who's the better one in? And the Downs got there first. Uh, 
agony. Tackling after the fact there. Looks like they're both going to get a card because of the extracurricular. But uh, he kind of did that tackling from behind after the ball had been kicked. So uh, Leda gets her card too. But uh, two. Appealing to the line judge. Twenty twenty-five left when the clock was restarted in the second half. Two goals for Onondaga will tie this. Oh, off the keeper. Knight gets his hat trick. Holy cow. A wet ball, a bullet, and off the keeper. And it's three and nothing in favor of the Cougars. So uh, that is a huge, huge goal there for Clinton. And uh, that'll be insurmountable at this point. The ref, the ref, the ref, the ref, the ref no assist. No assist. <laughs> Taking the easy way out. 16. Yeah, that's right. 16. <laughs> gets the assist. Refs uh, have not been talking to the scorekeeper at all here. Then none, none of the. Not one of the goals. Not one of the goals. We had a bit of a rainbow out there. Just a bit. Over the trees. We got a little homeland security zipping by. And a soccer game on the field. <laughs> Clicking down toward 19 minutes. Three nothing the score. Yes. 
to agony. I'm not sure if the uh, violet will come through there. Uh, yeah, I guess it is. Very uh, not dark rainbow, but very has a good uh, a good rainbow as far as the number of colors in it. Is it going to be dangerous? Onondaga will take it at the 40-yard line. 30-yard line in football, but 40-yard line in this game. Kicked wide. Maybe a blue throw. Sixteen twenty five. In the second half. Rowan. Up to Davison. Knight back to Davison. Taken away by the lasers. Davison carries it after getting it from Knight. Takes it up the middle. Distributes it to the, the wing. 11 from 9, is it? Golden Glutch falls! And. I'll be ready. Ryan Lee scored. Uh, maybe Escobar with the assist. Jordy, Jordy, who had the goal? Go, Brian. Brian. Oh, that couldn't be Ryan Lee. Ryan Lee. At, uh, Davison set that up. Davison came right down the middle, past Escobar, and Escobar was going up in front for Lee. It's four nothing now. Under fifteen to go. Escobar. Uh, Lee looking for another one here. Lee battling his way through. Oh. 
So is the score three or four? Four, four zero. <laughs> That's not what the scoreboard says. <laughs> Here's Davison. Carried out by Onondaga. Snide given some defense there. Thirteen and a half to go in the in the game. Took a few minutes there for the uh, <laughs> fourth goal to get on the scoreboard. Uh, had to remind them. They got the other, they got a scorebook to fill out. They got the announcement to make. And stop the clock, start the clock. And sometimes putting that goal up on the, line on the board doesn't uh, always happen. You got other things you're thinking about. Blue throw. Smith carrying it out. Smith. Oh. Uh, we got 18 getting involved. That's Rhino, Nick Rhino. Being warned warned. By uh, Jamie Labarge. The white kick. The play is over. It's over. Teammate that bumped into him. Downs makes the stop. Under 12 to go in the, in the game. I'm going to do it. I'm going to call it. Call the second half as the end of the game here. If it was 2 nothing, I'd be, I'd be saying the end of the second half, but I don't think uh, Onondaga is going to come back from a 4 nothing deficit. be a corner kick. Oh, Gonna be a corner kick. Looks like they might have a new keeper warming up. Davison over to take the corner. Five in for the Cougars, Nate Nolting, and 22, Samuel Bender in for Onondaga. Player down for Clinton. He's back on his feet. That's uh, Tarar. Down to 10 minutes remaining in the game. Region <clears throat> 3 Junior College Division 3 Soccer Play-In. Play the winner goes to the quarterfinals. Headed. Number three, Montanaro, I think that was.
Sub, new keeper, Paul Daniels. Paul Daniels. and four in for Onondaga. Four is McNiernan, McKiernan, McKiernan, and uh, Omarovic is number 17. Blue throw. And now, no. through to Agony. And we're approaching the seven minute mark. Approaching the six minute mark now, for time remaining. Sent down the field. Kick back to the keeper. Daniels boots it. That's out. Throw by uh, Tarar. 25 up there is Nolting. I think I was, earlier I thought maybe it was. Uh, Somebody else. <clears> Terrar <throat> will throw it in. We're down to 508. There's the punt. Davison can't keep it in. The blue throw. 
340 left in the game. Davison carrying it. Blue throw. Kicked by 18 Rhino. <clears throat> Three minutes. Three minutes remaining in the game. Clinton Community College will advance to the quarterfinals. As we speak, the Cougar women are in Onondaga. Onondaga County, we're not sure what community they are in. And they are playing uh, for their right to advance. Uh, 225 to go. Uh, subs coming in rather slowly here. Hugo Leon is coming in. <clears throat> There's a throw. Davison chips it. Blue throw. 120 to go. Snide will take it. No, it's not Snide. It's another light haired fellow. That's Nolting. That's thrown in by Johan Bush. Back to Smith. Westport was knocked over. Restart. Davison carries it wide. Twelve seconds. Time for a corner kick, and that's about it. And, and a show of sportsmanship, he kicks it down the field instead of putting it in front of the net. Mm -hmm. So the Clinton Community College Cougars will advance to the Division Three Regionals and they'll take home a four to nothing victory and that's the way it was on this 20th day of October 2012 at the Plattsburgh High School Sports Complex in beautiful downtown Plattsburgh. Thanks for watching. For those of you supporting, viewer supported local television, hometown cable. Win, lose, or draw, TV worthy of your support, hometown cable.